This is Black Light. Cyberspace Ministry. The journey through the decades. And by the way, I'm the Aboriginal Universal Supreme Council Council of the Elders. I'm not a minister. I'm a counselor. I'm an advisor. So I'm just uh, letting you know how it was when I was in my early teens to my early 20s here in Detroit. And uh, I moved over there on Wildermere, the west side, Finkel. 1956, I was 10 years old, and barely any black families over there, except on the park side and a few on Muirland, Muirland Street. Park side is where David Ruffin used to stay at. Muirland is one block over from the Four Tops leader, Levi. Family. They stayed on Fairfield between Bork and Shell Font. A lot of, lot of entertainers over in that area. So, uh, the Caucasians, they mostly were Jews. There was a Jewish, and Mumford was Jews. The teenagers over there were Jews, but they were ruffians. You know, the uh, so called Jews. You know, they, they were gangster too. They was up there with, uh, 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 they had the, the Jewish Mafia and you had the Italian Mafia. The Italian, you know, the Purple Gang was a notorious gang out of Detroit. And uh, they had some of everybody in their gang. I heard tell that they had even a, a couple of blacks in their gang. But, uh, the Mafia settled in Hamtramck and Gross Point. Gross Point is the, one of the most beautiful, beautiful areas in Detroit. Beautiful area by the lake, by the by the Lake St. Clair. I think that's Lake St. Clair. But anyway, off of Jefferson, between Mac, you know, and uh you got about five or six points. You know, you got Grosse Point Farms and Grosse Point City and so forth, you know. This the mafia settled there. Detroit had the unions with the mafia in it. You know. So look. Uh It was some it was some black gangsters around uh, the Black Bottom area, Hastings and and uh, Paradise Valley. We had uh, the Gotham Hotel where they was running numbers, but uh, the white mafia overpowered them. You know, it's a gangster city. The whole the whole United States is is gangsters. That's all. You know, they operate gangster style. This is how they take over countries. This is how they take over cities, states, neighborhoods, anything you want. Using their corrupt fiat dollars while they sitting on top of all the gold. Fighting over the gold right now. You know, they, they fighting over tons and tons of gold. But we'll never know it. But I'm going to tell you this. I've been saying it all, all the time, that these pawn shops, while, you, while, while they give you this paper, play, paper money, they sitting on top of gold, silver, and diamonds. You know, they know how to tell the value of diamonds, uh, the value of gold and silver. But you don't, we don't. We're not into that, you know. So I'm suggesting to you young, you young ones, study up on that. Also, I suggested in my last video to study up on the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. 
Nobody else for right now. For right now, study up on Elijah Muhammad. All his books, all his tapes, CDs, DVDs, whatever you got going. You study up on that. And just remember this, what no other uh, black man talking like, the science that he was kicking that Master Farah brought to him about 76 trillion years ago, uh, how to break down and decode the Bible and the Quran. Uh, he made these some of these uh, black African-centered preachers, Christian preachers, study up and that's when they start coming up with the image of a black Jesus. It was behind him and Malcolm. So y'all study up on that. And quit listening to these fools that's trying to divide the black race and telling you that they know their Bible. They don't know their Bible. You know, and whoever probably teaching it to them Teaching, teaching it to a probably Caucasian behind it. Because the Bible, the Quran, and all the other books is talking about the black man period. You know? It's not talking about the Masons. It's not talking about... Uh, see, the Bible is a book that if you don't have the keys to how to read it or the criteria to how to read how to read the Bible, anybody can tell you anything. Say that's why the reason why Master Farad came, he told all of it to the messenger, Elijah Muhammad. He did. Take it or leave it. So anybody that's that's uh, right now talking division. You don't need to listen to them unless you just uh, some kind of a nut. And a lot of you just out there lonely. You know, I I, I be listening in on y'all. Y'all, if y'all hear see 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 one of these young brothers that got a little sense, because a lot of them got some sense, but they ain't got you know all the sense. But uh. Y'all be asking them what movies you like to go and watch. And what color is your what, what, what color is your drawers and uh, silly stuff, man. You know, and and the brothers be trying to, you know, be teaching some real stuff and y'all be asking them, you know, uh, what movies do they like to watch and TV shows and what songs they like. Do they like hip hop? And That's irrelevant to what's happening now. So a lot of you probably are real young, you know. That's why I don't uh, fool with uh, questions and answers, you know, because it slows you down. You know, I get straight to the meat of the matter. So this is Black Light Out and Warning y'all brothers, you know, don't be keep on being suckers. <laughs>